All right, folks, why here from Middle Money with us today? We have Frederick of Sin Sainam. How are you doing today, buddy? Hello, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. You must be super stoked that, you know, you know, when you have an album, you know, when you have, say, a band which is having such huge names in the industry, there's always a lot of pressure. But you still delivered it in the form of the debut album and then you had, you know, such a great response coming in. Now, when you think of Repulsion for Humanity, the second album of the band, you must feel a little relieved as to uh, the, the sort of pressure you had when the first one was released. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I guess, yeah, there's, there's, there's no pressure anymore, but uh, I mean, there's always a bit because it's the second album and we had like a lot of good reviews, as you said, mm -hmm. so you, you, you know, you don't want to disappoint, but at the same time, uh, given the name is Repotion for Humanity and we, you know, what we're saying is just that we don't care about, you know, we hate everyone, right. quote, type of negative, mm -hmm. uh, you know, then, uh, then it, you know, it'd be funny to, to be also concerned about what people think about it. But uh, to be serious, um, I guess, uh, yeah, there was no real pr pressure when we, uh, when we work on that record because we, we did what we wanted and I guess... Uh, on Echoes of the Torture, I really wanted to me to make uh, a perfect death metal album, mm -hmm. and I had like all the those boxes to you know uh, to tick, if you will. Like I had the, a list in my head of how uh, a death metal album is supposed to sound, right. and I wanted to be legit as well because coming from Dragon Force, that's what people know me for, <laughs> right. even though. You know that's not my favorite kind of music, but uh, mm -hmm. that's how people, you know, would put me in a, in a box, and that's the Dragon Force power metal box. So I guess I had to prove myself, right? And because I think I did, uh, now yeah, there was no real pressure uh, other than deliver it on time, and you know all the uh, the the boring aspect that I'm not gonna annoy you with. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm uh, very confident. Uh, so far the reviews are good and uh, when we when I do interviews, people say that they like the album. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Nice, very nice. You know, it's 11 tracks. There's, it's like, a, how do I say, the, the classic go-to recipe when it comes to some really great riffs, this evil, menacing vibe that is throughout the record. Obviously, Joy is blasting the shit out of the drums. And, you know, it's it's really great to see such a powerful record. But at the same time, you know, there's also a diverse uh, diversity on this record, which, uh, say, I didn't find on the first one, which is really great because it surely indicates that you've got a great hold on songwriting and you know what worked in the first and what didn't. And you totally focused on that. So from that aspect, uh, writing, how was it this time? Was it just you chucking out one by one and sending it to guys and have their opinion or was like majority already come from you? Uh, I'm still the main songwriter, mm -hmm. uh, and I guess everyone's happy. Everybody is happy with that in the in the band because uh, I mean I'm I'm the one. Since uh, is still my baby, right. even though it's like a uh, horrible, disturbing baby, but it's it's my baby, <laughs> uh, baby monster. And um, uh, yeah, I mean I I uh, I'm still the one writing the majority of of uh, the things, mm -hmm. but I guess uh, the fact that now compared to the first one when I was writing just for myself mm -hmm. you know when just I'm oh, writing my pedal blah 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 <laughs> I guess it's, uh, it's because whether you know I, I guess I know in my head that um, uh, that Joey is playing drums then Sean is singing then Stefan is on the guitar and that guess that influences the way I, I write the right. music mm -hmm. so uh, sure. so I guess it's not something on purpose it's not like I'm saying oh I'm gonna do that part because Joe is gonna do that right. but I guess right. like yeah, at the back of in the back of my head you know somewhere I guess that you know that makes me do okay. the things that I that I do and and uh, and also the fact that we spend time uh, together in a house, you know, to finalize uh, the songs and, uh, you know, talk about the structures and uh, uh, be in the same studio, uh, I mean, it be in the studio with, um, with Joey when he was recording, yeah. also that helps to cement this all together. And uh, as far as songs, uh, ideas, actually, Stefan came up with, uh, with a song, mm -hmm. uh, with the majority of the song called Insect. Yeah. And um, uh, Heimat 
uh, came with uh, most of the riffs for the, the song Sacred Martyr. Nice. Uh, Joey uh, helped with, uh, with a part in uh, Repulsion for Humanity mm -hmm. and everybody contributed to the, to the lyrics. Uh, so I guess, yeah, there was more involvement for, for everyone compared to the first one. Nice, nice, and it's really great. You guys, you guys got together, and you know, you know, in, in France is what I heard when you know the Joey recorded his drum tracks, and you guys were able to play in a house together for some time. So that's a vibe which really uh, increases the let's say productivity because when all of you are there, it's kind of an organic vibe which always, no matter how the world changes, the physical presence is always makes a big difference. And on this record, it's like, you know, I, I want to specifically point out uh, some of the songs which are a little different, but at the same time are a, a breath of fresh air. For example, I Stand Alone or even the almost the first full section of Manifestation of Ignorance, which is more like a droney vibe. And then you have My Swan Song, which is also more of a, you know, a, a really cool vibe. Pretty much, you know, complements songs like the title track or even say Swan to Hell, which is more of a menacing mm -hmm. vibe. So good balance of songs and uh, pretty much well placed so that it doesn't go you know it's too much for people to digest so it's it's kind of very well uh, organized uh, on this record well thank you very much i mean I, and it's uh, it's nice to hear that you yeah you 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 grasp the uh, the, the vibe of the, of the different songs that no that's cool to hear uh it makes me happy uh but uh, yeah yeah i guess um i we didn't uh, you, you know, we didn't select any songs like okay, that one's not, it's not going to be there. We only had to do that once for um, for the Japanese bonus, but okay. it just like sort of came naturally anyway. But uh, so we had to select one that one song that would not be uh, for the rest of the world, mm -hmm. which is fine. But uh, for the for the album, um, yeah, I mean, I like I said, I wrote all the songs and I was almost of the songs and uh, uh, I. It, I, I it, every 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 song had the same vibe. I mean, it was just all about hatred and you know being violent and whatnot. And uh, and uh, so we didn't. We just wanted to put everything there without thinking too much about oh, is this gonna be like maybe that song is too long or maybe that song is too you know slow or right, right. whatever. I think it's just like and uh, it turns out that when we did listen to all the songs, you know, there's always like a a moment when you when you do an album, when you go like, all right, well, fuck, that song is shit, and yeah, that yeah. one is really shit as well, and oh, fuck, this is horrible. Yeah. So uh, then when that happens, you kind of have to go away for like a couple of days or weeks and, you know, leave the stuff and then come back and go like, oh, this is actually quite nice. So I had my, you know, my few uh, days or weeks of like, fuck, this is going to be horrible, I hate all these songs, mm -hmm. to actually come back and listen and go like, fuck, it actually works all together very nicely. and. Uh, the, uh, the 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 order of the songs came pretty naturally as well. I didn't have to sit down and go like, oh, "Fuck, I need nice. to put this and that." It just like felt naturally, and uh, I mean, I had like Stefan helping me as well in, in the studio to to do that. But uh, everything fell into place kind of kind of nicely, which is cool. So. Nice, nice, very nice. I also like the rooms. Uh, you know, Sean has gone on this album, keeping in mind that Attila couldn't be part of the writing. Obviously, you know, he has his commitments with the other band, but uh, really great to see him open up more uh, as compared to, let's say, on the Ashes or even, you know, so it's it makes a big difference in terms of giving him more room to, obviously, you know, Attila is still there, but this time I really felt that, that Sean has explored a lot on this album, which is really great. Obviously, I heard, I mean, I read in one of the statements where he mentioned it's one of the most uh, brutal and the most hardest album he has worked on. So that also adds up as a challenge as a frontman to basically complement the riffs and the songs you have written. So in that, from yeah. that perspective, that's uh, it's, it's he really complements well. And obviously, Attila is always there. The man in the background, you know, the, the haunting vibe that he provides always is is, is phenomenal. Uh, yeah, no, sure. I mean, what the the thing is when uh, when we started when we did the, the vocals for uh, Ashes mm. for the EP Ashes, mm. um, Attila came to France and uh, we we started to talk about what we would do in the next few years because you know for the first album we wanted to go on tour and that did not happen. So yeah. I was like, okay, well next time we need to we need to really uh, you know uh, plan things ahead. 
Uh, so Attila was there and uh, okay well let's talk about the next album blah blah and he said well bro I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, uh, to, to be there uh, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm busy here and there and blah 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 okay uh, so I was like oh fuck but, but what do you mean do you do you leave the band he was like no 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 I don't want to leave the band I'm like okay glad because we don't want you to go but it was like on the, the only thing is like I will have to you know step back and uh, and uh, because I think and uh, I thought as well so we thought that because the band had a, a momentum, right. it would be uh, it wouldn't be a good idea to uh, to wait too long. Absolutely. So yeah. the, that's the that's the choice we we made, and uh, it gave like more like you said way more room for Sean. And uh, I guess what also because I was writing the songs and still in the writing process, I guess that also you know uh, made me. Uh, you know, create the songs knowing that Attila wouldn't be there. Right, uh, right. He ended right. with a few songs, but uh, I guess I, with that in mind, you know, uh, it. So there, there's no, um, there's no lack, other than the the, the lack of his voice itself. It's not like I made songs with him in mind, and then oh fuck, he's not gonna yeah. be there, so we have to find something to replace. You know, right, it's right. more like they were they were going one direction with that in mind, and. Uh, but yeah, Sean's done an amazing, amazing job. He uh, he he, um, he sent us all the he, because he recorded the, the vocals in uh, in the US, mm -hmm. and he sent us the uh, the 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 files, the vocal files, mm -hmm. and we were just like, what the fuck? They, like there were like so many layers. So he said he he sang in a. Uh, in the interview, in the you know the statement that uh, it's like one of the hardest yeah. uh, he's ever done, and brutal maybe, but the hardest. I, it's hard for us to believe in the band because like he's done such an amazing job, like so many layers, right. like in a very short amount of time as well. That we were like really like wow, okay, that's fucking cool. So we had a lot to choose from, and I'm glad in a way that Attila wasn't there as much as on the previous records because that really shows what uh, Sean is capable of uh, that I knew to begin with because that's the reason I wanted him in the band and uh, so yeah it really shows on, on the album so that's uh, that's great if people you know can uh, Definitely. can get that now what's the touring plan obviously you know this and I really feel that the band uh, these songs are meant alive I mean they'll be more of uh, even more organic than hearing it on on say a vinyl or hearing it on a CD it'll still make a huge impact having it on stage is there something currently being planned you know some kind of release shows or some mini tours uh, say in Europe or maybe in states uh, states not at the moment we're still working on it but right now uh, that we announced uh, we announced a tour uh, so we start the end of September mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna uh, start in France actually okay. and uh, we're going all over Europe for like a month then we do Russia then we have Japan announced nice. I think we just announced uh, Australia today uh, so there will be some stuff maybe in between and uh, so yeah we just like we keep working on it all the time which is like I said you know that's part of the boring stuff you have to to do as well uh, <laughs> within the band, but uh, we uh, we're working on that right now so yeah we we're gonna we're gonna go on tour finally which is great and uh, I'm pretty I'm very sure that the new songs like you said uh, will sound uh, great on stage on because like maybe it's more a bit more simple, like or not simple, but like maybe uh, more straightforward than on the first album. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. play. We're gonna do like a, a nice balance of like old, old or, I old. mean, songs from the first one and song from the the new one nice. and song from Ashes as well. But I'm, I'm I've got the feeling that those songs, you know, like say Sacred Martyr or uh, oops, sorry, no my phone. Uh, songs like Sacred Martyr or, or uh, Final Resolve will uh, will work uh, well. very well uh, in a live situation. Right, right. Right. Is this uh, going to be a support tour or is it a headline tour in Europe? Headline. Excellent. We're we headlining. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. That's great, man. That's that's really great that you would be heading to Australia. I mean, honestly, bands after maybe a decade and a half end up getting some offers in Australia. I mean, literally. I mean, I recently. I mean, we we always have our viewership in Australia, and be it Camelot touring touring after five years, or you know, I don't know how long it took for band like Overkill to reach. Uh, Australia but it's really great that since CNM is getting such a high momentum here so it'll be really great to to see you I uh, hopefully uh, you know we get to catch you in sometime in India in future oh well I'm 
would love to. I mean, we we play where we want to. It's uh, you know, we, the good thing is like we uh, we come from established bands, but we are starting again. So it's like a middle. We you know we don't we we're not gonna play like huge venues because yeah. th- this is the second album and uh, this is still death metal. At the end of the day, we're not playing like. But I don't know, you know, we're not doing like a, a covers of the Cranberries or something. Right. So, you know, we, you know, so that, which is nothing wrong with that. But I guess what we're doing is like very underground. And uh, so we, you know, uh, we, we play like smaller venues and, uh, but we also can benefit from, uh, uh, you know, Joy's celebrity or yeah. to some extent, to you know, the fact that Dragon Force is known, even though I'm not sure this is helping uh, for a, uh, a death metal album, a uh, death metal band, sorry. But uh, so that, that's a, there's a nice in between, and I, I guess that was helping us to uh, to play in Australia, where are certain bands, yeah, it's awesome. take them forever to, to play there. And uh, so we have uh, we get those offers, and uh, but that's something I really wanted. I, I told our booking agent, I was like, fuck, we really need to play wherever we can. I want to play. Uh, Japan was on my list, it was number one. I said, I don't care how, I don't care. <laughs> Where we go before and after, but I want to play in Japan. So that nice. was all oh, right. Okay, so that that's uh, that's announced. That's done. And uh, and then I was like, while we're there, we might as well, you know, try to go and do Australia, and uh, which is what we just announced. And uh, so that that's uh, that's cool. And I guess yeah, that's definitely because of what we have done and achieved with all other bands. bands. So I guess right. we're looking at that. Yeah. Nice, very nice. Where does it put Dragon Force? Because obviously you guys released a terrific album and toured as well. Uh, but is there anything that is planned in terms of extending the tour with the last album or something you're writing currently or anything planned with Dragon Force? Uh, we are doing summer festivals, mm-hmm. which is why I was in Harpy uh, last week. Yeah. We played with uh, uh, Accept and Mr. B. Mm-hmm. And there was like a, it was like a party evening that was fun and uh how to the day after but nice. um and uh, yeah so we're doing summer festivals and we are working on a new album uh we started uh, with sam sam and i started writing songs like a few months ago mm-hmm. maybe two months ago and i'm supposed to have a look at those songs actually tomorrow so we are working on this and we're planning on releasing it sometime next year but uh, we will announce this uh, uh, yeah, when the time is right. Very Was that? When the time is right, the announcement will come. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But we, I guess we're just gonna start, you know, just, you know, just like showing some some videos on social medias and whatnot, so st- things will appear. And uh, and I guess yeah, the album should come out sometime next year, probably September. I mean, that's what I tend to imagine right now. Perhaps yeah, September next year, and then go on tour. Nice, nice. So you still have a lot of time with Insane as well. Well, good luck, buddy. You know, I really wish the tours really bring in even more, uh, you know, the, the audience, the fans who uh, come across you live on stage. So that would really be a great experience. Good luck with the release, man. You know, really love the album. Thank you very much. Thanks for the kind words and uh, hopefully see you in, uh, well, in India or wherever you want to come and, and someday, see the band. Someday soon. Take care of yourself. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.